usher in the new decade with a bang and throw a New Year's Eve soiree, well, we've got some tips for you. Whether it's a few close friends or the entire extended family, our guest, Gracie Foreman from Preferred Events, will put a stop to all that worrying. And so nice to see you here at Edward today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, we've got one of the biggest party days mm -hmm. and party nights of the year. So let's talk about what we need to do to plan. What are the first three things you tell people to do before any party? Well, immediately you need to figure out a date. As soon as you decide that you're going to have an event, start planning. Set your date, come up with a theme to focus on, and most importantly, a budget. A budget, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we just heard that, uh, that story just a few minutes ago about the food because you have to figure out what kind of, as you said, what kind of theme and what kind of budget. So what is one of your favorite types of parties to plan? Oh, I like the big parties, the lavish ones. Um, New Year's Eve is idea for me. That's a great um, party that I like to enjoy. Uh, social events as well. All right, let's talk about right now New Year's Eve. Since mm -hmm. so many people are going to be hosting folks at their house or even at a, a, a place, what do, what do you tell people to do? Now, we're going to go with a the theme. We don't really need a theme for this party. Mm. We've got the date, and now we have the budget. So now what do we do? Uh, the first thing you want to do is consider hiring a, a professional. You want to consider maybe a catering company or an event planner. Uh, once you establish that, then um, move forward towards location, venue, selection is very important. And you also want to establish the type of entertainment and most importantly, the menu. Oh, we were talking about earlier about having, uh, you know, when you send out the invitations, is mm -hmm. it important to send an invitation? Does that make it more personal? It certainly does. I agree with that. Um, a personal invitation lets that guest realize that you truly want them there and that it's important for them to be there and to be a part of this occasion, such as New Year's Eve as well, that you want to bring that New Year's Eve in with them. Do you think it makes a difference like with a handwritten? I mean, that's always a nicer touch or? It always gives it a special touch to have it handwritten. Um, you also want to um, give them an opportunity to RSVP you back, give them a comfortable amount of time to respond back and options in responding back to you as well. And, and one of the things, I'm, I'm not a party planner, but one sure. of the things that I always do <laughs> like on it um, is, is, are you going to have like a, a, not a dress code, but is it going mm. to be casual or is it going to be a fancy event? Because so many times, you know, you're calling up your girlfriend at the last minute, what are you wearing, you know? So well, that's where the theme comes into play. Okay. So you can come up with a 50s theme. You can come up with a grass, uh, Gatsby party theme. And that kind of sets the tone for the, um, the attire and what they're going to wear and dress. Um, also, if there is no particular theme, then you can tell them what the dress code would be, if it's formal or casual wear. Well, i got to tell you, Gracie, if I wasn't a newscaster, mm -hmm. I would like to be a party planner. I mean, it's a great job. It's How did you get fun. into this? Oh, I've been doing it for years. I've worked in a corporate industry for over 10 years, and it seems like no matter what my job role was, I always fell into that category of planning events, meetings, and social events for my employers. So I kind of embrace the talent that I've developed over the years, even prior to the corporate industry, I've been doing this. And your company, Preferred Events, yes. um, you guys are located where and, and uh, what kind of events do you guys do? Well, we're located in Bloomfield, New Jersey, and our primary t um, area is New York and New Jersey. We do a variety of things. We have clients that are corporate industry clients for meetings. Uh, we also do social events for the corporate industry. We also have uh, social events for our individual clients and weddings. Now, I don't know if anybody's going to be able to call you before New Year's Eve, but let's just no. say they're going to be having a party <laughs> somewhere down the line in 2013. What is your website? My website is www.preferredevents.net. Okay, that's pretty easy to remember. Yes. All right, let's talk about the food because that, that story that we did see just beforehand mm -hmm. was talking about luring women to, <laughs> to go into uh, certain parties. But d what, why is that so important just to make sure that you have a theme and have the food? I mean... Well, we always remember the food. The food and the company is what makes the evening so special. Uh, the theme is what makes it interesting and very entertaining, and it excites the guests. It gives them something to look forward to and something to remember afterwards. If you ever see a lull in your party for mm -hmm. the folks that are going to be throwing some New Year's Eve bashes, do you think it's a good idea to have, say, 
uh, certain like a little games planned or anything like that or yeah, it's good to always have a backup plan, have some um, idea of um, entertainment always lined up. You want to keep the momentum going throughout the night for the party, and you also want to focus on the age category. You want to make sure that there's something there for all ages if you have children there as well. Mm -hmm. um, entertainment is very important. It's important to determine if it's going to be live music, if it's going to be an act performance, or even a fireworks. It all depends on your theme of the party or the, the purpose of the party. Of course, for New Year's Eve, there won't be any fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Now, here's the big question mm -hmm. now for you. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, you are the big event planner. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? Oh, I was planning on going to New York City. Okay. And Everybody's got to do that. Got to yeah. cross it off the bucket list. Yeah, for the last couple of years, I've been in the Big Apple and um, just hanging out with some close friends of mine, enjoying the evening and relaxing, all being right. entertained. Well, that's it. Uh, have somebody entertain you. Exactly. Well, thank you for all those tips. Gracie Foreman from Preferred Events, it was a pleasure to have you here. It was a pleasure today. to be And here. Happy New Year. Thank you. Same to you. There you go. <laughs>